You know, one of the wonderful things about getting older is looking forward to little ones becoming a part of your life once again. But becoming a grandparent can be great fun. It can also bring out some new fears for seniors. So Marie Handy is here today with some tips that might help put those fears to rest, Marie. That's right. Accepting a grandchild is wonderful and exciting news. But when did you last care for an infant? 20 or 30 years ago? If so, you need to learn the modern approach to bringing up baby. Women's Hospital has some answers to your questions in their refresher course for grandparents. This is a hospital waiting room. Typical of the type fathers-to-be in the past nervously awaited news of baby's arrival. Not today. Modern fathers are in the delivery room assisting their wives and welcoming their baby into the world at the moment of birth. And would you believe that you could be cuddling that precious newcomer yourself within minutes after his or her birth? Beverly Chevalier pointed out that your own childbearing experiences give you a head start in being an effective grandparent. You are immediately able to give the new parents practical and emotional support. But she has this advice about advice. First of all, answer only those questions that you're asked. And that's hard to do. You know how to take care of that baby. How you say something is many times much more important than what you're saying. Watch how you phrase the advice. There were several first-time expected grandparents participating in the class, and their excitement was contagious. I waited 56 years for this. This is the highlight of my life. Yeah, I'm making receiving blankets till they're coming out of our ears, so but we're real excited. Modern conveniences for babies seem endless. Imagine no more formula making nor bottle sterilizing. A feeding baby is as simple as unscrewing a cap on an already prepared formula and replacing it with a nipple and disposable diapers give parents and grandparents even more time to spend with baby. And believe me, I know <laughs> from experience. She said she's waited 56 years to be a grandmother. To be a grandmother. Right. Is that why Margaret and I are getting pressure from our individual parents, you and in, in, in your budding relationship and me and my marriage to have grandbabies? Have babies. Exactly, you've got to have somebody yeah, to Well, this is right. Stephanie and Andrea, right? Stephanie That's and Andrea. Right. Okay. All right, on that note, we'll say Could goodbye. Say we'll see you at 10 tonight Good on night. the Night Desk. Mm -hmm.